Well, that's the first day of lots of drinking different varieties of piece of sour and beer, all kinds of ridiculous alcohol. Um, determined that Mark is a terrible influence and I now have a headache. And the first thing that we're doing this morning, it's not even nine o'clock and he's already taking us to go drink more wine. So starting out for it's starting out for a pretty fun time. <laughs> I'll be your tourist guide today. So on behalf of Point Chaitoro Winery, we welcome you. Let me tell you where we are. We are located at the Maipo Valley. This is in the Pirque County, about an hour max to get Santiago, the downtown. In here, 130 years ago, Mr. Melchor de Concha y Toro founded, which is now one of the most important wineries in the whole world. In here, we produce our finest wines, and of course, I'm going to tell you about our history and our tradition. But tell me first, where are you from? Where about you? Where are you from? Brazil. 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 United States. United States. States. Kentucky. Kentucky, United oh, States. I'll go with you. I'll go as well. Oh, very good. Brazil. Australia. Australia. Australia, no, Chile. So welcome all of you. As you can see, people from all over the world. Let me tell you what we're going to do. At least an hour of tour around this beautiful place. The first station will be the Concha y Toro family place. The whole history of this winery starts right there in that place. Great. Yeah. Garden of the Concha y Toro Winery. Everything you see here close to you is an exhibition to show you the 26 different grapes that the Concha y Toro Winery works with among Chile, Argentina, and at the United States. In those places, we produce our wine. In this case, 13 of the white wine grapes in this side Chardonnay, Moscatel at the back, Torontel, that's a very important grape because we produce wine and pisco here in Chile with the Torontel grape. Oh, uh, the oh, Strabiner okay. right there, a German grape. Riesling at the back, also German grape. 13 of the white wine grapes in this side and 13 of the red wines all the way down in there. Merlot, Carmenere, Pinot Noir, Malbec, Cabernet Sauvignon, for example, but only as an exhibition for you. The only thing that grows in a quality way where we are at the Maipo Valley in Santiago is the thing at the back. Those are 68 hectares of only Cabernet Sauvignon. Nothing else we produce where we are. Uh, the reason, the terroir. What is that? Soil and climate, very important to grow a grapevine. That's the reason, the only thing that grows in a quality way where we are is the Cabernet Sauvignon at the Maipo Valley in Santiago. This is the number one valley of the company Concha y Toro. From this point, all the way down to the south of Chile, Argentina, and Argentina. It's a 100% Chilean grape, but it used to be French, yeah. this grape. What happened in the middle, right? The Phylloxera plague took place in Europe at the end of the 19th century, 1860, 1870, and it killed many of the grape vines, including this one, the grape Carmenere disappeared from the face of the world, right? Before this plague took place in Europe, Mr. Melchor de Concha y Toro, our founder, brought from France Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. He never knew he passed away. He never knew inside the Merlot grapes, it was hidden, the Carmenere mm. grape. It was till oh. the year 1994, when a, when a French scientist came to Chile to try the traditional Merlot, the Chilean Merlot. Everybody was talking about the Chilean Merlot. It's different, it's unique. Well, he came to Chile, took a sample of the Chilean Merlot. Aromas, flavor, color, nothing to do with the traditional Merlot. He took a sample, he went to the laboratory, and he figured out it was never a Merlot. 
It was the Carmenere wow. that survived here in Chile from the year 1994 till today. The 100% of the worldwide production of this grape is Chilean, is from this country, right? So that's the second wine tasting of today is this crazy story about the Carmenere. Today, 100% Chilean grapes. Second wine tasting of today's will be this 100% Chilean grape. Okay, so once you find out the Carmenere. Right here, Terruño. Mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blanc, the grape ready for us in our glasses, as you can see. Uh, 2018 is the vintage, a very young white wine. That's a perfect way to enjoy a white wine. Young, like this one, 2018. Casablanca is the place of the harvest. This is located about 40 minutes from Santiago, all the way close to the ocean, very close to Viña del Mar, Valparaiso, is the Casablanca Valley. This wine has 13 percentage of alcohol. That's what we're going to try right now. So please come closer and grab one each of you. One of the glasses, ready to go. Please go ahead and go, yes. Take your glass. The modern seller of the country of wine. Everything you see in front of yourself is real wine. It's not decoration. We're talking about the number two wine in terms of quality that we produce as a company. This is Terruño, like the one before Sauvignon Blanc, but in this case, Terruño Cabernet Sauvignon, everything you see in front of yourself. This wine, it gets some rest minimum for two months inside the barrel before to finish into the bottle. The wine you see in front of yourself Two, number two, one of this company in terms of quality, Terruño Cabernet Sauvignon. That's equivalent pretty much to fill it up, 300 bottles of wine. That's a capacity of every single one of these barrels. As you can see, we water the soil once a week and that's a way to keep the temperature and humidity low in a natural way. They used to do it 100 years ago, till today, as you can see, exactly the same system. 1850, that was the year that Mr. Melchor de Conchitro built this cellar. Uh, as you can see, this cellar was built brick by brick. Every brick, it was glued with a very famous mixture called Calicanto. Sun, light. Yeah. Mark. Right now we... We're here. Yeah, I know that. If someone would like... Wine, wine everywhere. 